Welcome to Module 2 of the Community of Online Redesigners CORD course for the VLC. This is Jennifer Marquis and I will be guiding you through this section. Module 2 is focused on getting started with CORD. Administrative preparation for Quality Matters and CORD. First, become a Quality Matters member. This will give you access to all the Quality Matters materials and the QM system and website. If you work at one of the 58 community colleges in North Carolina, the system office purchases a lead subscription that allows colleges to receive the premium subscription at a reduced rate. If you wish to participate in this, please contact Kathy Davis at davisk at ncommunitycolleges.edu. Next, designate a Quality Matters Coordinator for your college and register them in the QM system. This individual can serve as the CORD program leader. If you are participating in the system office subscription, notify Kathy Davis of your coordinator. Number three, order enough seventh edition rubric workbooks for all CORD participants, course reviewers, and the distance learning team each year. Number four, familiarize yourself with the resources in the QM system, especially the course review management system, or CRMS. Faculty application steps and process. Send an announcement email and application form to all faculty towards the end of the academic year with information about the program. The announcement should explain what the program is, the incentive, and a link to the application with the deadline to apply. An example of the email and form are included in the application steps and process document in module two. The court application. Some questions on the application may include course they wish to redesign, how long they have been at the college, how long they have been teaching online, experience designing and or developing online courses, and why they want to participate in the CORD program, to name just a few. Faculty and course selection. The academic deans and director of distance learning review applications and select faculty courses based on the following criteria. High volume courses, high volume instructors, instructors already designing courses, experience teaching online, and the, college, the college's need for the course. The CORD program leader will notify faculty of their acceptance status before summer break. Course reviewers. Ideally, you will have certified peer reviewers on campus who have taken the two required courses, applying the Quality Matters rubric and peer reviewer. We pay our reviewers a stipend. Each reviewer may be assigned up to a maximum of two courses per program year. Course reviewers continued. Our instructors complete a self-review in the Quality Matters system and serve as the subject matter expert so we count them as one of the reviewers. You will need an odd number of reviewers so that there can't be a tie in whether a quality matter standard was met or not met. The majority determines whether a standard is considered met or not met, so an even number of reviewers will not work. Course reviewer selection. Our first year of CORD, we didn't have any quality matters certified reviewers on campus, except the director of distance learning. We taught the CORD instructors how to do a course review and they reviewed each other's courses. To grow the program, each year we offered the CORD instructors the opportunity to become a certified Quality Matters reviewer by taking the two required courses. We now have 12 certified Quality Matters reviewers on campus. Digital Management in the Learning Management System. Each year, we create a course in our LMS for the program that houses all program documents, links, and Quality Matters resources for our participants to access. We also save the CORD courses in our LMS using categories in Moodle as followed. Original course is a snapshot of the before picture of the course. Original in progress are all edits that are done during the program. And the certified course for sharing is the final copy. An example of the CORD categories is included in the course in Module 2 called Setting Up Categories in Moodle. Digital Management in My Quality Matters. 
In the QM system, the QM coordinator sets up an internal review that includes the course, the instructor, and the reviewers. The step-by-step -step instructions for starting an internal review application in QM PDF is found in Module 2. This is where your reviewers and instructors will score each standard as met or not met, add helpful recommendations, and complete the course review. Program Timeline Determine what months your program will run and when you will meet. Our program typically runs from August through May. The CORD program timeline for the 2023-24 academic year is found in Module 2. Our community of practice meetings are three hours and occur once a month on Fridays from 9 to 12. Meetings take place in our Center for Teaching and Learning classroom. Other considerations. Where will you meet for community of practice meetings and at what time? What extra activities might you include? Holiday potlucks, snacks, water? Will you have a culminating celebration? If so, when and where? Will they present at any college events or meetings? Our lead course designers present their CORD certified courses at the instructional leadership team meeting at the end of the year and the college president attends. Thank you for joining me. We look forward to seeing you in Module 3 where we will share details about CORD reviews, revisions, and results. See you next time.